Got my notes, check. Pepsi, check. Sunglasses, check. Hat, check. Thick skin, check. And sources, check. Let's go. Welcome to Golden Blittered, everybody. This is where we cover all of college football. So if you're a college football fan, go ahead and hit the like and subscribe button. I call my Patreons the Shot Callers, and I can't wait to live stream some games and watch it with my Patreons and the score prediction contest. That's going to be fun. Don't forget to check out our merchandise store. Anything you could ever want from Golden Blue is at our merchandise store. My favorite shirt is actually the checklist shirt. The biggest question that I'm getting asked right now by fellow West Virginia fans is where does West Virginia fit best? Not where are they going to end up, it's where do they fit best. Right now they're in the Big 12, and geographically, they really don't make sense. I mean, the Big 12 did add Cincinnati and UCF for the east side, but now it's looking like the Big 12 will add some Pac-12 teams. Colorado and Arizona have applied to the Big 12 and are expected to be accepted as Big 12 members. But then there's Oregon and Washington that could delay that as well, so I don't know the timing of that situation. From what I'm hearing, Oregon and Washington are actually holding the Pac-12 hostage right now. They want almost double the payout of all the other teams. That's what they're telling the Pac-12. Hey, if you want us to stay, then we need double the revenue of everybody else. That's how much better our brands are. And I actually kind of agree with them. I just don't know if they're going about it the right way. I think the Pac-12 is a sinking ship. I don't think they're going to last very much longer. Even if Oregon and Washington stay in there for a little while longer, they will eventually jump ship, whether it's to the Big 12 eventually, or maybe the Big 10 does open their doors to Oregon and Washington in the future. I don't know. They'll have a landing spot. Pac-12 going to be done. Don't have the timing. I just know it's probably going to be in the next five years. And that's kind of being generous. But back to West Virginia. Where do they fit best? Well, I, I don't think they fit in the Big 12 right now. Now, if the Big 12 does add those teams from the Pac-12, and I know Arizona and Colorado for sure, and then in the future, probably Arizona State, Utah, Oregon, and Washington, if Oregon and Washington actually do decide to go to the Big 12. So that's loading up heavy on the west side, so that makes even less sense for West Virginia. However, if the Big 12 turns their eyes eastward and grabs some teams out of ACC, and once again, right now, the grant of rights is ironclad. It's pretty ironclad. It's about $500 million for one team to leave the ACC right now. But we all know that ESPN and the ACC are renegotiating that TV deal. So that could change. But they at least need to make some effort to try to get some teams out east. Maybe some high caliber group of five teams like a Memphis. Some of the teams that just got bumped up to the AAC. Or maybe like an Appalachian State or East Carolina or something like that. I don't know. I don't know. I know some of those teams don't add a lot of revenue to the Big 12. But they have to at least make an effort because West Virginia is not a good fit in the Big 12 if they get West heavy. They need some teams from the East. I'm not saying I don't like the Big 12. Not at all. The brands of the Big 12 are pretty good, actually. It's just, it's, it's been a lot of trouble for West Virginia. Number two in revenue, but dead last in profit because of those travels. Remember, it's not just football that has to travel. It's all your sports that has to travel. And that bill adds up. What about the ACC? Well, we do have a lot of built-in rivalries. The Backyard Brawl, I'm going to that September 1st. The Black Diamond Trophy, Virginia Tech, that'll be our third game this year. There's Syracuse, there's Boston College, there's Louisville, there's Miami, and then there's a bunch of other teams that would probably become a rivalry rather quickly. I do think West Virginia would fit in the ACC and it would make a lot of sense, but would they make enough money? Under the current contract, I don't think they would, but would it make up for the travels in the Big 12? Maybe, maybe, and you would get a lot more eyeballs watching West Virginia games and you'd have more eyeballs from the fans that are in the ACC right now when they play West Virginia, especially those rivalry games. So yes, I do think West Virginia would fit in seamlessly with the ACC. But then there's a third option, the SEC. And West Virginia has been on the table as far as getting an invite from the SEC the first go around. The SEC was getting Texas A&M, and then it came down to either Missouri and West Virginia. The SEC was just about to send West Virginia an invite. In fact, it was two days before, and then ESPN stepped in and said, hey, we want the Kansas City TV market, so send the invite to Missouri. So they got Missouri. Now it sounds like the SEC wants Florida State, Clemson, Virginia, and North Carolina. So West Virginia is going to be out of the first four in, but I'm hearing that they're in the next four. So is it better to wait it out, stay in the Big 12, and hopefully get an invite in the future if the SEC decides to go to 24 teams. 
I don't know what the actual answer is. And does West Virginia fit in the SEC? I think they do, actually. I mean, you have Kentucky there, you have Tennessee, South Carolina, Georgia. I think West Virginia would fit in the SEC East pretty well, especially when they start making all that money. See, that that's, that's the thing that bugs me about when people trash talk West Virginia. They use Sisters of the Poor, Soup Kitchen University, stuff like that, acting like we're just a low-level brand that hasn't had much success. West Virginia is actually top 25 in winning percentage and top 25 in total wins in college football. We've had a lot of success. The problem is we just don't have the revenue that those SEC and Big Ten teams have. You give West Virginia that revenue and West Virginia is going to be a whole lot more successful. We have been a blue collar team taking low grade four stars and high grade three stars and turning them into five stars, seriously, especially on defense recently. Now our offense has gone down the drain a little bit under Neil Brown, but I expect that to have a huge uptick this year because we got Graham Harrell as the offensive coordinator and that attracted JT Daniels. So if you give West Virginia the advantages of the SEC, I think West Virginia turns into a really good football team right now. Not just historically, but right now. Remember, the last 10 years, we haven't done so well because Dana Horgerson kind of kind of drove the bus down into the ground. We were doing great the 10 years, and even historically before Dana Holgerson. That was not a good hire, but I understand the hire because we were headed to the Big 12, and they wanted a Big 12 guy maybe to help ease the transition, but that was a bad move. And I think that set West Virginia football back a good 10 years. So now we're in recovery mode. I think this year is the biggest step forward that West Virginia will take. And that's without all the advantages that all these SEC teams have. I think West Virginia would have more success than South Carolina in the SEC. I think West Virginia would have more success than Kentucky in the SEC. Definitely more success than Vanderbilt in the SEC. I think we have the potential to have more success than Tennessee in the SEC, Arkansas in the SEC, Missouri in the SEC, Mississippi State in the SEC, and probably come close to the recent success of Ole Miss in the SEC. Historically, Ole Miss, not a great football team, but since Hugh Freeze and now Lane Kiffin, they've had a huge uptick. And I think West Virginia could be at that level. I don't think they'd be at the Alabama or the Georgia level, but I think they would be the next level down, like with your Auburns, your LSUs, your Texas A&Ms, your Ole Misses, your Floridas, teams like that. And then every once in a while, they'd have that magical year to where they could contend for the SEC championship. Yes, I believe West Virginia would do quite well in the SEC. Now, if you ask me if West Virginia would do well in the SEC with their current revenue, absolutely not. We would be overtaken. But if you add West Virginia to the SEC, they're going to get SEC advantages. You have to factor that in. I just think a lot of people overlook West Virginia. Look, even in the new Big 12, we have the number one fan base when it comes to size. I know, it's shocking. A lot of people don't realize that. So I think you'd be adding a substantial fan base to the SEC, and the value of West Virginia would rise significantly. So as far as where does West Virginia fit in the best, well, they actually fit into the ACC the best. But I think I'd prefer the SEC because I like the SEC advantages. Now, I'd take a couple years to start having success in the SEC. That doesn't happen overnight. But I think within five to ten years, West Virginia could be at the levels of those LSUs, those Auburns, those Ole Misses, those Floridas, teams like that. And then every once in a while, they're going to be a contender to win the SEC. But if you stay in the Big 12 and try to wait it out and wait for an SEC invite, that is a risk. That's not a guarantee. I'm hearing that we're on the next four in, and it sounds pretty solid, but it's not a guarantee. We might not have a choice. The ACC might be going under. We might have to stay in the Big 12 for the time being, which I guess is okay. It's better than being in the Pac-12, which is a sinking ship right now. I just hope the Big 12 tries to grab some teams on the east side because travel is going to be absolutely brutal for West Virginia when they add teams on the west side and don't add any teams on the east side. That's all I'm saying. Y'all let me know in the comments section, what option do you think is best for West Virginia? And if West Virginia did get in the SEC, do you think they would eventually have success? That's all I got for it for this show. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you on my next show.